Well, you say it's nonsense that we could sustain oh, a, excuse uh, me. a classically... August, I could see an august economic voice is coming up here. <laughs> you, you, you think it's nonsense that we could actually deal with a tax rate that over the past hundred years was actually the, uh, the norm. Right. We had 30 some odd years of a tax rate that was a top marginal rate that was above 70 percent at least. Coincided you, with some some good growth. Oh, absolutely. In fact, uh, what they called the the Great Compression, where wealth inequality. Now, there was a lot of factors involved in that. And, you know, it's not exactly the same, but that is not dispositive of the uh, uh, of the value of this uh, tax. But um, here it is. Fox News weighing in again on the uh, proposal that is in no way uh, radical, but uh, getting even in this clip, you can see the value. I mean, to them, it is, you know, it's like the spread of the plague. But when Julian Castro, who at the DNC, was it in 2016 or 2012 he spoke? I don't know. I think it was 12, but I'm not sure. I just remember when that guy spoke being bummed out by, by well, his speech, which was very much about like, you know, if you have the, the perfect grandmother like I did, you can achieve anything in this country. For those of you who don't, well, that's your, your, your SOL. It was 2012. But here is um, uh, Fox and Friends. And good for them talking about this proposal to tax not the rich up to 90%, but any dollar made over 3 million, 10 million. I think it should be closer to 3 million, but I think the Democrats are saying 10. But uh, up to 90%. Here, of course, is Stuart Vaughn. Agreeing with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez on a plan to skyrocket taxes for the super rich to fund their socialist agendas. Pause it for one second. Wait a second. Like, now, this is Fox and Friends. Like, didn't they get the memo? You don't want to say the super rich. Yeah, you just say, say the wealthy. Right. I, that, that's not even going to pull well. Keep it simple. There. Keep it simple. Say tax working America. The, the disgustingly <laughs> rich <laughs> yeah. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> With their agenda to tax a handful of people who never readers. meet and probably don't like. Right. And <laughs> have so much money, they couldn't possibly spend it, even if they hired an entire company full of people who were in charge of just doing nothing but spending it. I can support uh, folks at the top paying their fair share. There was a time in this country where the top marginal tax rate was over 90 percent. Even during Reagan's era uh, in the 1980s, it was around 50 percent. All right, here to react as host of Varney and Company on the Fox Business Network, Stuart Varney. <laughs> How strongly would you like me to react? To that? I mean, you want to Go blow it. up or something? Taxed at ninety percent. Why bother? Uh, did he? Did the gentleman refer to a fair share? Yes. A fair share is ninety percent for the government and maybe ten percent kept by you. That hardly seems fair to me. It looks to two points. Looks to me like, number one, the far left is now calling the shots for the entire Democrat Party as you roll up towards 2020. At least so, two, two of the bigger names. Uh, okay, okay. Well, what's the sense of work? But they're, making, <laughs> they're making all of the headlines, they're making all of the running, and Nancy Pelosi constantly has to talk about whether she's going to go with this or with that. The far left is making the running, and that's very dangerous for America. What does that mean for our economy? Because well, what's the point. incentive of working hard, and don't the people who contribute that much to society and are creating the big businesses, yes. aren't they helping our economy? It would be very bad news for America's economy. Right now, we've got a boom in progress here. We've got strong growth. You saw those jobs numbers on Friday, over 300,000 new jobs, manufacturing making a real comeback, wages going up at a, at a very strong rate. You start imposing tax increases like they're talking about there, and you slow that economy down dramatically. That's what happens when you raise taxes. So when I don't, but I, I've got to tell you, Brian, I don't think they care. If you ask them, <laughs> what's the effect of this on the economy? I don't think they care. Well, they simply want to stick it to the rich and stick it to no, President Trump. No, they got to pay for their big programs. Yeah, okay, Medicare for all, and uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez has this green uh, agenda which has to be paid for with money from the rich. It simply won't work. So <laughs> well, it sounds like it'll work. It didn't really make an argument that it wouldn't work. It's just that he doesn't think it's fair to the super wealthy. 
and uh, the folks on the fun. I would like, like the. I guess I I don't want to overstate this, but one of my fantasies would be to sit on the couch with those three and explain marginal tax rates to them. That simply isn't fair. Rupert I'm Murdoch has to working. buy human slaves. I'm going to stop working after I make three million that year. I'm going to stop sometime, like, I don't know, like, stop in, you know, February. I made my three mil. I'm just going to coast from here because I don't want to pay 90% taxes. I mean, that's just, it's absurd. I will say on the flip side, I'm pretty glad that they aren't spending a lot of time going after our strongest asset. Which is? Chris Coons. Chris, exactly. Chris.